What is a golf eagle? Well, it occurs when a golfer has two strokes under par. For example, on a par four, where the goal is to get the ball in the hole in four strokes, an eagle would be achieved in two strokes. It's a heck of an accomplishment and always deserves a celebration. Now, a par five layout, you would have to get it in three strokes, and statistically speaking, that's your best chance of getting an eagle. My first eagle was a chip in and a par four, and everyone remembers their first eagle. I don't remember my first birdie, but I do remember my first eagle. Now, where did the term come from? Well, it dates back to the term birdie, which we are really grateful enough to have a video to showcase what that is. But keeping with the bird theme, Atlantic City Country Club, the golf course that you're seeing footage of right now, and also the home of the birdie. So, you see that? Oh, yeah. Where it has credit for the term eagle taking place here. It's the same golfer, and they kept with the theme of birds. Now, it's hard to document which hole that took place on or if it even was at Atlantic City Golf Course. But by 1919, the term eagle was being used all over the United States, Britain, and Canada. And by 1922, it was described in a putt for a par five, and the rest is history. But we have to date back everything and give the credit to Atlantic City Country Club and the showcase of the birdie, the bird of the shot. Here. Back in uh, 1903. The term birdie? Yep. Was there a bird? The bird of shot. That's the big Hole 12? Huh? Hole 12? Was it hole 12? Sounds right. I don't remember. I gotta go on. I got it on my notes. And the term birdie came on a cold winter day in December 1903 on one of the holes here in Atlantic City. The story centers around two gentlemen. One person hits the ball, Abner Smith, and then the other one yells. That's a heck of a shot. That's a bird of a shot. At that time, bird was used to say something was cool or hip. They were using it was that girl is a bird. Crump, the owner of Pine Valley, decided to scream. It was Hunter Smith on the 12th hole here, which we're gonna show some footage, that hit a heck of a second shot. It was a second shot and a tap in birdie. Now there was a third gentleman, but George Crump took the show, making history when- When he screamed, that was a bird of a shot. A par four that he got in in an easy par three. Coining the name Birdie. Oh, got robbed on number 12. You had that. You gotta remember, birdie it's hole. 1903 when this term came into play. Golf wasn't that popular. There wasn't many terms used, so it stuck. It was on the 12th hole. There was only 12 holes at the time when this was taking place. It was a 12-hole facility here at Atlantic City. The original layout has changed, so you're not seeing the original 12th hole. And you won't be able to play it because it's right outside of the dining room area. You can have a dinner and actually experience history if you don't get a birdie here. Now, it would have taken place right in front of that dining room that we just showed you. You have the driving range not too far from that so it might have played a factor in the 12th hole the term par was already established so there was definitely a need for more terms throughout golf that's why birdie really stuck it was a popular phrase that was taking place with the 20s and 30 year old and it was just used as a great accomplishment that was completed I'm sure they had a few beers afterwards and told their friends that he made a birdie, a bird of a shot, on that last hole. Now, they brought that back to Philadelphia and the history just kind of snowballed into what we're seeing today. This would have brought us right to the green that would have took place for this historical Who gave him putt, that line? Did you give him that a line? birdie just right outside center, not right the island of Atlantic City. Right. If you made it this far, hit that subscribe button as we go through learning quickly about golf history. 
that's going to do it for our list. Keep a look out for more videos to come. This is the Parfessor, an independent golf channel focused on fun, affordable golf in your area. If you're not watching, go play some golf today.